Coming up, we'll take a closer look at an afternoon activity that is spinning up interest in our district and hear from some local musicians making a home here at FHS. We'll also find out about how accessible our campus is and catch up on sports. I'm Laura Kate Moore. And I'm Caitlin Shaw. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. to the Bulldog Weekly. Today is Friday, December 9th. We've got a great show planned. Let's start with some national news with our reporter Eleanor Eichmann. The news sweeping the nation this week is that the U.S. men's national soccer team has been eliminated from the World Cup. The Americans fell 3-1 to one to the Netherlands last weekend after advancing to the round of 16. The tournament has continued this week in host nation Qatar and will conclude on December 18th. That's all for national news. Back to the desk. The FHS Student Council held their 25th annual Homeless Vigil Thursday night on campus at FHS. All donations made to the vigil go to the FPS Families in Transition program to help students in need and their families. You can still donate to the cause at the link on your screen. As part of their Do Good December project, AVID seniors are collecting items to donate to the Seven Hills Homeless Center. Donations can be dropped off in room 2405 before school or during advisory. The FHS PTSO Outreach Committee has received a number of new and gently used clothing donations through their Sign Up Genius. These donations are already in the closet and helping students. If you have any more gently used items or would like to purchase things from the clothesline closet, you can find more information at the link on your screen. If you are in need of volunteer hours or just want to see what wrestling is about, the FHS wrestling team needs your help. The Battle for the Bling Wrestling Tournament will be Friday and Saturday. December 16th and 17th. Training will be provided as well as snacks and meals. Contact Miss Dom in room 3301 if interested. Our area is quickly becoming a beacon for trails and those who like to bike outdoors. FHS TV's own Stella Sutton takes us behind the scenes of afternoon bike rides and FPS and how anyone can get involved. Northwest Arkansas is quickly becoming a strong community in the world of cycling. In turn, teachers and administrators have adopted weekly bike rides to promote health and wellness here in Fayetteville. About five years ago, um, I was out riding uh, on the bike trails, and then I was like, wow, this would be neat if I can take this back uh, to my staff, especially here at the central office, say, hey, why don't we just do this on a regular basis and all. And so they said, sure. So we started a small group, and we started riding together on the trail. There's a lot of fun. So then I decided, hey, I need to extend this to other staff members besides just the central office staff. And so I took it to the district leadership team where we have the principals and directors and all. And so I got them to join us. And the principal at, at Holt said, hey, let's send it to everyone. And so we decided to send it out to all staff members and ask them to join us. So that was about six years ago. And here we are today, have a little group who rides every Tuesday during the time of this nice weather. But it's a lot of fun. Most of what I do with bikes is just helping them manage their needs, basically. So if they need help getting maintenance, or if they need more bikes, or if they need extra hands getting volunteers while they're actually riding bikes, then that's usually what I organize. Well, I, I think it serves as a role model for others to see that, hey, here are the educators who are taking this very seriously. One, it's a lot of fun, and plus it's a health thing, too. A lot of our students don't have a bike at home, or they don't have access to a bike that they can borrow. so providing that access during the school day when they already spend a lot of their time at school. Um, it kind of just sparks a fire and some kids really love it. They might want to pursue um, like our NICA racing team and this a Fayetteville specific team, but we also welcome students from the surrounding area. That bond that we create when we're out there riding, you know, the, the thing is, don't talk about the job, don't talk about lessons, but get out there and just have fun and enjoy each other. So therefore it brings us closer together. As the weather warms up this spring, weekly bike rides are sure to pick up, so be sure to check your student announcements to stay informed. For FHS TV, I'm Stella Sutton. 
Man, that sure put me on a roll. I would love to go out for a bike ride. <laughs> me too. Thanks, Stella, and be sure to look for information on how to join the ride when the weather heats up. The scheduled change request form for the second semester is open and closes today at 4 p.m. Students wanting to request a schedule change must complete and submit the form before school ends and must use their g.fayar.net email address. The Engineering Club here at FHS has launched a new fundraiser website to help with the costs of the club. Take a look at the items in the link below to see if you are interested in helping out. All proceeds go into activities, competitions, and equipment. For all 9th through 12th grade students, the CAP process is already underway and it will be time to pick classes for next year as soon as we are back for the second semester. Courses requiring an application are already available to submit, so be sure to visit the high school website to get that done in time. CAP conferences will be held in February. Ongoing construction can make some parts of our campus tough to navigate. However, others sometimes struggle with our current infrastructure. Reporter Sam Traxon tells us more about how accessibility issues can be a problem here at FHS. FHS is undergoing major construction. Accessibility has become a problem for both students and teachers. We took to the halls of FHS to talk to some of the students affected by this matter. I think it's relatively handicapped accessible, but I think it could be more convenient just because the placement is not very convenient for getting to class. Sometimes I'm late to classes, which is just a little bit inconvenient because I get tardies. Um, I've had a friend who's like broken a foot before and it's hard for them to like get to class because they have crutches and people have to like carry their books and like all that stuff. Uh, well, I tend to use the ramps specifically, which um, sometimes they're along my route, sometimes they're not. Um, I don't use the elevators because they, uh, initially they felt like they would be very inconsistent with um, whether or not I'd get to class in time, both with like where they are in the route and also just people accessibly using them. While students see the need for more accessible features, many just want the current features to be more thought out. I think that FHS is where it needs to be handicap accessibility wise, but it definitely could have been thought out more carefully, like how people go about their routes and the fact that um, the more handicap accessible routes tend to be more out of the way. Adding more ramps. I know that there's maybe like one or two, but with this big of a school, there should be more. With the age of our building and our growing student population, this is sure to be a problem for the foreseeable future. For FHS TV, I'm Sam Traxon. Great story. Thanks, Sam. After the break, we'll hear about how FHS students are getting involved in the local music scene. We'll also hear from Jackson Leopold with the Bulldog Sports Report. We'll see you in 30. Welcome back to the Bulldog Sports Report. With all of our fall sports now finished, we wanted to take a look back at the results from this year. We want to wish our volleyball team and boys tennis and golf teams a big congratulations on winning their state championships. We had numerous student athletes make all state teams as well as volleyball senior Kenneth Phelan making the Under Armour All-American game. Be sure to tune in to next week's Bulldog Weekly to see a story on Division I athletes and the recruiting process. That's all for the Sports Report. I'm Jackson Leopold, back to the desk. Many students here at FHS are involved in music, whether it's orchestra or starting their own band. FHS TV's Carly Kidd tells us about some musicians from FHS who are making a name for themselves. FHS is home to many aspiring artists. Students are able to express themselves and leave their comfort zone to produce something truly unique. Miss Wieners and I, we make a mixture of indie pop and indie rock. Sometimes we add a little punk in there, but for the most part, we would call ourselves a female-fronted indie pop band. I think the biggest thing is really comes from the students then and just coming out and supporting the bands that are happening and um, supporting the groups that are making it happen. I mainly play and write stuff. Um, but like recently, like with the misdemeanors, um, that's like the main thing I've produced. I love playing jazz, but I also play with a band called Green Acres. It's, a, it's the classic rock band. We went to the Fayetteville Library 
the Fayetteville Public Library and they've got like a professional grade studio there with all kinds of microphones and all the gear you'd need to make a professional album. I just show snippets of songs and get everyone informed on when I'm dropping and like what I'm dropping. So that's, that's how I promote myself. The school doesn't really like help with that side of music making, like the, like the production if you want to make like hip hop and stuff, it's more like actual instruments and music theory and stuff, which is good to have, but on the other side, like promoting yourself and like getting it up on social platforms and like doing your own like individual music that you would like want to make, it's, they don't really have a lot for it. Make sure to follow our student artists on Instagram to keep up with new shows and releases. I'm Carly Kidd, back to the desk. Thanks, Carly. That's all we've got for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at fhstv Fayetteville High for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHSBulldogTV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. I'm Caitlin Shaw. And I'm Laura Cape Moore. We'll see you next time.